two, three. Does anyone know why we have an anti-vacuum valve in our steam boiler? So the reason we have an anti-vacuum valve is because when you look in the sight glass of a machine, you see half water, half air. But it's not air, it's steam. So what happens is the water particles drive the steam out, that's the air out, and leave only steam behind. Now steam is made of water, but it takes up much more space than water. So if we could have a steam boiler that's full of steam, and then we turn the steam boiler up and let it cool down, all the water turns back in, all the steam condenses back into water. So now we've driven all the steam out of our steam boiler. Notice I'm in no rush to put this lid on. I don't need to, to rush. I just put the lid on and then we're going to let it cool down. So you imagine this is your steam boiler <coughs> and you turn the machine off and now you're going to let it cool down and the steam is all going to turn back into water. So that causes a vacuum. Now the vacuum can be really powerful. So the steam takes up about 80 times as much space as the water you need to make the steam. So as the steam cools down, it turns back into water and that space has to be taken up with something. And that's why we use an anti-vacuum valve to let the air in to stop the steam boiler from crushing itself. But if we don't have a, uh, an anti-vacuum valve, hopefully this is going to show what happens if you don't have an anti-vacuum valve. Maybe we have to move in a cooler place. Do you want me to put it in? No, we don't. Okay. No, oh. we don't. So as it cools down, the pressure inside uh, becomes much, much lower. And you have a, quite a dramatic result. So you can really crush your cans. If, you're, if you work in a cafe, it's normal to put some steam in your milk bottles and close the lid and they crush themselves and take up less room in the bin. Uh, and this is why, because steam is so much bigger than water. So just a little fun demonstration since we have an empty tin. <laughs>